be boring, but I don't mean to be boring, but it's just there's so many characters there to tell and they're all representations of different personality traits and, and very colourful in their representation and um, I'm looking forward to seeing these guys and girls enter the universe and interact with each other. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, the the Superman that um, that Henry's been developing is still in a process kind of of, of discovery in a way. And um, and and this Batman that um, Zach wanted to bring to life was one who's at the end of, of discovery and in fact is in a, in a kind of retrospective phase of his life. So you have this kind of veteran feel and this existential angst and uh, come up against this idealism that uh, that Henry represents and it's a nice contrast I think I'm incredibly protective I've I've developed a, obviously a relationship with the character and I want to see the character further developed and evolved into the superman we know and love from the comic books you let them handcuff you wouldn't be much of a surrender if I resisted and if it makes them feel more secure then. well here it's an S. How about... I beat China all the time. When was the last time you saw a Chevrolet in Tokyo? When do we beat Mexico at the border? They're laughing at us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. The big lie, Obamacare. Five billion we spent on a website. I hire people. They do a website, it costs me $3. Are you running? Are you not running? I am officially running for President of the United States. We need a leader that wrote the art of the deal. I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. Free trade can be wonderful if you have smart people, but we have people that are stupid. I like China. I just sold an apartment for $15 million to somebody from China. They have bridges that make the George Washington Bridge look like small potatoes. I don't need anybody's money. It's nice. I'm really rich. I love the Saudis. Many are in this building. Obama, a year ago, Yemen was a great victory. A great. Two weeks later, the place was blown up. We're dying. We're dying. We need money. Thank you, darling. But Mr. Trump, you're not a nice person. We don't need nice. That's true. But actually, I am. I think I am a nice person. We have losers. We have losers. I would build a great wall, and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. Nobody would be tougher on ISIS than Donald Trump. We won't be using a man like Secretary Kerry. He goes into a bicycle race at 72 years old and falls and breaks his leg. I won't be doing that. The American dream is dead. But if I get elected president, I will bring it back bigger and better and stronger than ever before, and we will make America great again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dr. Lecter, my name is Clarice Starling. May I speak with you? You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? I am, yes. May I see your credentials? Certainly. Closer, please. Closer. That expires in one week. You're not really an FBI, are you? I'm still in training at the Academy. Jack Crawford sent a trainee to me. Yes, I'm a student. I'm here to learn from you. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. President right now, this just moments ago, as the House votes on tabling an impeachment resolution, here's what the president said moments ago. About what? 
No, if people want to leave our country, they can. If they don't want to love our country, if they don't want to fight for our country, they can. Uh, I'll never change on that, no. What? Do you think you're winning this political fight? I do think I'm winning the political Why? fight. I think I'm winning it by a lot. Why? I think that they are not espousing the views of our country, the four congresswomen. Uh, I think that they've said horrible things that the press doesn't cover. I think you should try covering it. When you look at some of the things they said, they're unthinkable. If somebody else or me or anybody else said things like that, uh, it would be uh, historic. So you ought to look at some of the horrible statements, because there's never been statements I like that. I want to follow up about that, Mr. President. You've been very outspoken about the anti-Israel friend, seemingly anti-Israel friend of the Democratic Party. How do you think that all began, and is there anyone in particular you blame on that? Well, the Democratic Party is really going in a direction that nobody thought possible. They're going so far left, they're going to fall off a cliff. So I think uh, they're making a big mistake, but who knows? That's up to them. So isn't it